Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall and this is part of the Mendeley Masterclass series uh, recorded for Shaw. And this uh, video shows you how to use the Cite While You Write function. The Cite While You Write function allows you to, uh, well as it says, uh, cite as you write along. So as you're writing your essay, your dissertation, your research paper, you can add citations from uh, using your Mendeley database. The way you do this is to install the uh, Word um, plugin, the Cite While You Write plugin. And you do this by going to tools and clicking the install ms word plugin from from tools now mine's already installed but if you if you have to install for the first time make sure you haven't got microsoft word running uh, so once that is actually running i can go back to my word document and i can start to type some gobbledygook like so and then i want to insert want to insert a citation so i go up to references here on the toolbar and in here I've got a little kind of uh, part, a widget that's appeared uh, courtesy of Mendeley and I can go into here and select a citation. So I click insert citation. I can either search for the citation, so if I search say for myself, I can find um, a citation of my own and click that and click OK and that will format accordingly I've got it set to Harvard if I change that it will change accordingly I can then go on and continue to type I then want to insert another reference so I hit cite to insert citation I'm not sure about the actual author for this one so if I click go to Mendeley it'll open up Mendeley I can then find the paper that I want to cite so say it's this one here so once I click that a little cite button appears here on the top because it knows that I want to cite so I click send citation to plugin it goes back to word and there we see uh, Brazier et al appears so again I continue typing and I do that throughout the course of my paper my dissertation or whatever my PhD whatever I'm writing um, at the end of it I just tabulate down and then click insert bibliography and that will now create the bibliography and it's all that your bibliography will only be as good as the data in your reference manager file so uh, make sure you have all your correct data in there if I decide I want to change the actual citation style I just go up to this bar here and I can install more styles by going to the more styles function um, and I can install up to 7000 more styles but I'll just charge it, change it now to um, APA like so and the reference will change and if I change it again to Chicago the reference again changes so it changes accordingly if I change to nature again you can see how that's changed so it changes accordingly to the reference style um, one thing that may happen is if you try and change a reference within Word it will not allow you to it will try and pull the data back from Mendeley uh, and, and it will not work that way so what you do is when you get to a certain point of your your piece of work and you you want to just make a few changes and that change may be just removing a full stop or removing a comma uh, something that's there by error all I need to do is go up to export and then export without Mendeley fields <clears throat> that will create me a fresh uh, word document that will look exactly like this and I'll name it accordingly and then I can go in and change it without Mendeley trying to rectify any of my changes so it's the kind of thing that you'll do pretty much as one of your last things uh, for the piece of work that you're working on so that is the uh, site while you write uh, function which is very very useful and it's one of the main reasons you would use a reference management package like Mendeley